Hi, this is part two of my tutorial on my 6x6 six six, um, diamond card. I forgot to show you how to make the envelope. So I came back on making a separate video just for the, the envelope. So let me point you back down to my work surface and I'll get right to it. Okay, so if you don't have an envelope punch board, you can still make envelopes pretty easily. And again, meme on my... Um, zoom session pointed this easy technique out um so all you do is you start by the hardest part is figuring out what size paper you need so this is nine and nine and a half by nine and a half um i believe hang on let me verify that yes nine and a half by nine and a half then you want to start with a six by six card this is another card that i'm going to be showing on zoom in the next few weeks but this is exactly six by six uh, this one is a little bit harder because you don't have the corners to match up. So start with a six by six piece of paper and uh, nine and a half by nine and a half piece of cardstock or um, designer series paper works great for this because it's a little bit thinner. So all you want to do is center it onto your um, nine and a half by nine and a half, center your six by six and just fold up the edges. So this one I did a little bit crooked but I think it's still going to be okay, and it'll give you the, the general idea. So you're just going to fold this up, and then fold up this side. Unfold, fold down this side, unfold, and fold up this side. Okay, and then once you do that, you'll have these little divots here on your, um, on your paper. And you're just going to cut out those little sections there. If you don't do that, it gets really bulky when you try to fold your card. So during my Zoom session, I did show another way to do this, um, but this is so much easier. And again, I thank Meme for showing me how to do that. Um, showing me how to do this. That isn't her real name, by the way. <laughs> I forgot her real name. So, but that is what she goes by on. Um, Facebook. So Meme, if you're watching this, feel free to pipe in what your actual name is. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is just reinforce those fold lines. And you can see how much easier that folds in. Again, mine is not perfectly straight, but it will cover the card. So I'm not too worried about that. And uh, so you just fold those edges in. Fold this last one in. If you have some edges hanging over just snip that off okay so then what you're going to do I think I'm going to do it this way that way it doesn't my off-centered folds don't look quite as bad so then all you're going to do is fold this last piece up and put some glue right there right at the tip so that's going to cover up your other pieces you can also run some glue right down on the edges just like so and then this one will close just like that so even though this one is off center it kind of looks kind of cool that way just looks a little asymmetrical and then what I do is I take some um, double-sided tape that has a backing on it. So uh, Stampin' Up! Sells, sells this as well. And just peel the, tear that off. This is actually called tear and tape. Um, just put that right down here on the one edge. this one off and put it on that edge and then when you're ready to send the envelope you just peel this off and re uh, reveals the other sticky side of that tape and you can close it up and there's your six by six envelope to fit your card in all right i hope you enjoyed that video sorry i did not get that attached to the last part of my prior video just totally spaced it <laughs> anyway thank god it's friday anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something new and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.